So let me just go over a couple of things here for you, which is uh, bombing isn't failure, it's feedback. If you deal with it as failure, you're just going to crush yourself instead of going, oh, it's just telling me I got something more to learn. Motivates you to go, oh, I'm going to conquer this. Don't try to tough bombing out by yourself. Call up some other comedians because they'll tell you much worse stories than yours. And then you'll be glad you're not them. Take responsibility for the bomb. And, you know, it gives you the power to do something about it. Then, then you kind of go, okay, what could I do different? How can I do it? But now you're taking some responsibility and looking for ways to take that feedback and turn it into something positive. Evaluate if the audience was a bad audience and be truthful. There are bad audiences. Yet I always found to, you know, that if, if every audience is a bad audience, there's nothing for the comedian to learn. That comedian's doing everything perfect all the time. They just have to find a good audience. Okay, when you're beginning, most of them aren't very good. So you gotta learn how to deal with that. How do you handle it? How do you overcome it anyway? That's what'll make you good is to have her take responsibility and go, well, I'll make it good anyway. Even if it is a bad audience. And there are times when there's bad audiences. I always used to leave the club and go, after a bad show, I'd go, okay, I mean, I'm feeling bad right now. Okay. Then I'd ask myself, did, did I do the best I could do? Did I rehearse? Did I put in the time? Did I, you know, did I do all the best things I knew how to do? And my answer was always, well, yeah, that's all I'm in charge of. I, I, I put my best foot forward and I didn't do very well. Sometimes I didn't do very well. Sometimes the crowd wasn't very good or attentive. Sometimes it's both. But that doesn't matter. I did my best and that's all I'm in charge of. So I would go, okay, what's the point of feeling bad about this show? I did the best I could. Chalk it up, learn from it, go on to the next one. Go over how you could handle it better next time. Oh, next time that happens, I could do this. Next time that happens, I can try this. So now you got some alternatives. Don't give your power to others over your dream. A bad show and you go, oh, I'm never gonna do this again. You just gave your power away. I had a really bad show where the club runner just humiliated me in front of everybody I don't know, for like three, four months. I didn't go and didn't. And one day I went, man, I just gave this guy the power to screw up my dream. That's not him. That's me not going back. Oh, I can blame, blame, blame. But you know, yeah, he is who he is. I got no charge over him. I get charge over me. And I, I kind of went, oh, do you know what? I want to do this. And I'm letting my fear and letting, you know, letting him and by blaming him, giving him the power. He didn't get that power. He doesn't get to stop me. So don't give your power away. It's your, it's your choice every time. And there's another show and a chance to do better tomorrow. <laughs> and people say, I'm afraid that one will go bad too. Yeah, well, it very well might. <laughs> You've got to decide whether or not you want to learn, learn this or not. Because in the beginning, mostly what you learn is what doesn't work. <laughs> right? That's mostly what you learn. You're learning what doesn't work over and over again. Oh, okay. You're getting closer to figuring it out. Inventors, everybody, that's anybody that gets anywhere. Mostly at the beginning, especially what they learn is what doesn't work. The question is, what's your process for going back and making it better? And finally, keep it in perspective. You're not living in, in Ukraine. I mean, it's horrible what's happening over there. And, and, and you're afraid some people won't laugh in a little club somewhere. Yeah. It is fear, fear of ridicule, fear of humiliation, fear of failure. I get all that, but that's nothing. That's not, that's not the kind of fear that you feel when your life is truly in jeopardy. Put it in perspective. You have the privilege of being in a country that is safe, where you can go out to a club and there are people there and you have the privilege of not doing well and going back and doing it again and again and again and again until you figure it out. You're in a country and you're in a, in a, in a situation with the privilege of doing that. Then if that's what you want to do, take full advantage of that. Because we live in a prosperous, peaceful country that has problems. Don't get me wrong. We, we got our issues here and they affect me and everybody I know. Yet at the same time, if you want to go out and make people laugh, just do that. And all those other obstacles are just learning possibilities that make you a better and better comedian every time you do it.